Good afternoon. Welcome back, guys. Sorry I missed a few weeks. Hoping to get back on the videos. We've been uh, doing our summer series events, so um, haven't had much time to film these videos. Here we go. Getting ready for Tuesday. We're going to be focused on snatches, specifically power snatches, working through a bunch of different positions. Um, and then the workout's going to be um, some sprint intervals of power snatches and bar facing burpees. We've seen these combos come up in the um, uh, the, cross, the CrossFit Open pretty frequently. So good day to practice um, pushing the threshold and going fast. Let's get started. Warming up. We're going a couple rounds. Start with a PVC pipe. We're going to go with passovers. Keep the arms straight. Keep the elbows locked out. Moving from the front of the hip to the back of the hip. Go for about 10 to 15 reps. Then with a empty barbell, we're going behind the neck, snatch grip, strict press. After that, inchworm to hollow. You're gonna walk a little bit past the plank position. Keep walking your hands forward into a hollow hold for about three to five seconds. Then walking back. Then we have dead bugs and alternating bird dogs. The bird dogs, you're down on hands and knees, squeeze the stomach and midline, extend the opposite hand, the opposite foot. Dead bugs, you'll be laying on your back. Take a tight crunch position, knees and arms pointed up, extend the opposite hand and opposite foot. purpose of that first part of the warm-up, just getting the shoulders and the core loosened up. Second part of the warm-up, we're going to start with an empty and light barbell. We'll start working through some snatch progressions and positions. Lean over your bar, get your grip set with your arms straight, and assume the hook grip. We're going to start with six RDLs, squeeze the shoulder blades back, hinge the hips and knees back, lower to below the knee, somewhere around mid shin, pull the bar back up to the hips, and then stand. I'm focused on keeping the bar close to my shins and thighs on the way up and the way down without actually dragging up and down the thighs and shins. Then we're gonna go uh, hang high pull. After we make contact at the hip, Extend the hips up and pull the barbell up. Keep it close to the chest on the way up. Don't let it float forward in front of the body. Then we're going to go hang muscle snatch. So we're not going to re dip underneath the bar. And then finally, hang power snatches. Work through a couple rounds of that progression. Feel free to add weight as you go. You guys can see me. We're going seven sets every 90 seconds. Um, the weight should be relatively light in the 60 to 70 percent of your one rep power snatch range. The goal is just to focus on positions. Touch the hips, extend, snappy turnover as you drop or punch underneath the bar. So the complex is one power snatch, followed by one low hang power snatch, followed by one hang snatch above the knee. Okay, hip extension, jump, turn over quickly as you punch under that bar. Next, the workout. We have some sprint intervals. Round one, four time, I guess it's all one round. You're gonna start with 30 power snatches four time. 75 pounds for guys, 55 pounds for ladies. Even though we are trying to move fast within the framework of a workout, 
Don't let yourself start losing good positions. Don't let your shoulders start turning in. Don't let your back start rounding as you're reaching for the floor. Keep that braced midline. Work on that good hinging position even as you're going fast. So on the way up, I'm usually bringing the bar to my hips, then jumping overhead on the way down straight to the floor. Thirty reps for time, rest ninety seconds. Then you're going to go twenty bar facing burpees for time. Go all out on these guys. Try to avoid the step down, step up burpee. Do a jump back, a diagonal jump forward into a jump over the bar. As you turn, as soon as your feet hit the ground on the other side, you're already dropping down into your next rep. Okay, 20 reps, go 100% on that. You'll have another 90 seconds rest. You're gonna add some weight to your barbell. Then you got 20 power snatches for time, um, 95 and 65. Another 90 seconds rest, followed by 30 bar facing burpee sprint to finish out the workout. If you don't have access to a barbell, add 10 reps and perform alternating single arm dumbbell snatches. So you'll start with 40 reps, then the burpees, the 20 burpees, then 30 snatches, and then uh, the 30 burpees to finish out. So single arm, alternate sides. Touch both heads of the dumbbell to the floor. Still doing that quick drop under and punch underneath the dumbbell. Uh, you can do your burpees any way you like. You go laterally over the dumbbell, or you can do them facing the bar, uh, dumbbell just like you would with a barbell. We'll wrap up this shoulder focus day with a shoulder mobility cool down or warm up routine plus a little bit of hips. I'm going to start on the ground, 60 seconds per side scorpion stretch, reach the foot as far as you can behind you and just let those hips relax and open up. Try not to roll over on this one, keep the arms flat on the ground. Then thread the needle. Child's pose, let the hips relax and go back on top of the heels. And then finally, the twisted cross stretch. On this one, we will roll all the way over, bring the hand behind the back. That'll do it, guys. Have a great workout.